Oh, hello there. Welcome to the new updated hard skip tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to skip this berserk reference of a prop that is in 3.2, the upper Latria. There have been many versions of the skips in the past, and they're pretty much all attempted to be patched out by Bluepoint, unfortunately. This is the only one we're aware of in the current patch, and we also haven't received the patch in since around December. So we hope this is the last time we have to figure out a new skip for this. This is definitely by far the most difficult version of this skip as well, but thankfully it's still easy to reset to, so it's not hard to just try again. Just so we're all on the same page, I'm going to show you where this is. This is basically the main tower, just as soon as you get to that big main one from the beginning of the level. Just go up the stairs, and then keep going there instead of going to the left. To where the heart's little leg is, basically. The little meat, as we call it sometimes, the meat skip. <laughs> I'm just going to briefly show what you do here, and then we're going to scrap it more in depth. Alright, so our main focus for this part of the skip is going to be this torch. You're going to be messing with this torch in a, se in a second. But first you're going to have to quit out, and you're going to have to change your visual mode to cinematic, the 30fps 4k version. We're going to do a similar skip to like the coven skip and the sage freak skip where you have to phase into something. So you're going to walk into the torch. You're going to slow down as you stop. Then you're going to look to your left and roll into that little platform right there. Then you can run almost around the little leg here. And if you do need to reset the attempt, you can actually just walk back. Okay, so now a more in-depth explanation. Again, you have to quit out. If you already set a magic mode, you don't need to switch that again. Just quit out and reload. Okay, so again, you're going to slow down as you walk here. You don't want to like just slow down abruptly. You're going to have to slow down to walk, a slow walk, and then just stop. You can actually change back the from cinematic to performance again. Once you're up on top of the torch, you're going to aim for this platform I was saying earlier. That's going to be kind of your goal, more or less. You don't have to actually end on top of it to make it. What you're going to do is turn your camera a little bit to the left. Walk a little forward before you roll, but then you do have to roll afterwards. Then when you're on the platform, you have to run to the to the right. Like if you're going to fall off the ledge, you actually can't fall off. There's an invisible wall there. And then this leg is moving a little bit up and down. Once you get in a downswing, you want to abruptly change direction upward and a little bit to the left as well. And you should be able to make a round. Here's that run segment in normal speed so you can see how it actually looks like. Okay, I do also want to show that you can actually do this without turning your camera at all if you want to. But what we're going to have to do right here is to have your character like pretty much centered between being on the torch and off the torch. Right? Centered right in the, down the line. And they can just roll to the left there immediately. You can also technically do this without slowing down at all, I believe. But if you want to take time to adjust yourself, then you can just slow down. Okay, so if you don't slow down, the reason I'm warning you about this is because if you don't, there's a possibility you're just going to fall off. Like that. I've yet to see it fail if I just slow down instead of just stopping immediately from the regular walk animation. Okay, so in this, here's a few things that can go wrong when you're actually trying to do that first roll. You can roll, but just miss it because you didn't walk enough forward. Or you didn't make it enough to the left here and the, the torch. And you can also just not roll at all. So that means you went too much forward, and but didn't perform the roll in time. Okay, and then at the last little run segment, if you don't get that right, you might like land back in the little platform or you might fall off the little leg, but it's an easy to fix as well. Just try it again. And as a little bonus here, I actually want to show that if you don't drop the heart, there is actually a way to drop down to the base of the tower. You will need the cat ring, however, so you make sure to have that. What you're going to do is after going up a little bit into the spiral tower, you can just roll off. But make sure to quit out once you hear a character scream. And this is actually once a second chance as well we have that. But if you have either one of those, you should be able to land here safely. It's fair warning, you actually can't leave here. So make sure to have evacuate or next to your bind or shut of archstone. And here there's a lot of little goodies. There's a bunch of soul items. Yeah, there's also stone of hemorrhage. The game still thinks the heart is here because you're not supposed to be able to be down here without the heart being down here. So there's still a hitbox, but... Over here's the Ring of Avarice, and then over here is the Gold Mask and the... Epi Rapier? Epi Rapier? No idea. Yeah, like I said, you can't actually leave here, so... I, I tried to see if I can maybe, like, face through the little leg going out, but it doesn't seem like you can, so... 
Just make sure to have a way out. If, if you don't want to sacrifice your soul to the next year binding. Alright, and that's it. This skip is a little bit hard, like I said. So, the what I showed you there might not make it seem like it is. But it will take a little bit of practice. But like I said, it is pretty neat that you can actually just reset the encounter without being in danger of death or anything. It is worth learning this skip just because... No matter how long it takes you to get the skip down, you will most likely still save time than just running around the entire level. This is like a four minute run or something more, maybe five. So, unless this is your first playthrough, I don't think I recommend doing this in first playthrough, but I mean, I can't stop either way. <laughs> but if you just want to get past here, there's no good easy need in the actual level of 3 2. Just you can probably skip to get to the menus right away. Also, in case you missed it, I just got into Summer Games Done Quick 2021 with Demon's Souls. It will be a bonus game, so it's technically not a guaranteed slot in the games list, but I'm pretty positive it will get met. If you can help out, just meet that incentive. It will mean the world to me we can actually get this run at GDQ once again, but with the remake this time. But yeah, if you like what you saw today and you want to see more of this, please stay tuned by subscribing. I'll be making more of these videos as time goes on, of course, and different types of Demon's Souls videos overall. And you want to see my speedrun attempts live, as I'm showing you right now, you can go follow me on my Twitch channel. That's where I do all my runs live, at around three times a week at least. It's a good time, and you get to meet me and my community. It's really nice and cozy in there, I like to think. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you again sometime. Bye-bye.